Hey everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Uh, this is Super Brothers Swords and Sorcery. It's a fun little game. It'll be a very short Let's Play because it's a very short game as long as you know what you're doing. And because I have gone through this before, it will be closer to a walkthrough than a blind Let's Play or anything. But honestly, it wouldn't really be that interesting as a reactionary but play game. It was originally a um, mobile game, I believe. iOS, I believe they're called. And then they transferred it here, so it's entirely controlled with the mouse. It's just kind of a click and drag type game. The music is what really sets it apart. Otherwise, it's just... See? Otherwise, it's pretty much just a game that bears far too much resemblance to other popular games. And zoomed out. Oh. Let's go talk to the chick over here with the... with the sheep. And the dog's like, no, where are you going? <laughs> the All of the text and the whole style of the writing in this game is very interesting, too. It kind of gives a old 70s, hippies, everybody's high kind of feel. <laughs> huh? Hey. <laughs> I didn't really get into this game early on. It took some doing, but it's a very actually kind of relaxing game that you just play for a while and you move on and you come back later and you do it again. It's very straightforward and linear. There won't be really any side stuff to do. There's a couple achievements on the side that I never really figured out how to get, but they're not too big of an issue. Something like kill five of those little lagomorphs, they call them, the, the little rabbit looking things. But I can never catch them, so I don't know what the heck to do there. And in we go. Hey. Hey. Once it really gets going, I'll keep the talking to a a fair minimum. Um, enough to do a commentary, but the music is a big part of the game, which is why I'd suggest getting it if you really want to experience the game. The art, obviously, is not great. It's got a style of, style of its own, I imagine it was entirely intentional. And the combat in this game is kind of laughable. Not that I haven't died doing it before. But it's it's all about timing. And this weird looking three eyed wolf thing. I always swing after they attack just because it looks like I have an opening, but I don't really. But I don't remember exactly what he looks like when I do get the opening. Oh wait, no, I remember. There we go. Now blocking just buys you some time, you learn his pattern. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's like, no, screw this. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff off to the side that you can look at, but it usually doesn't really do much. And you move faster if you actually click on the exit, rather than just walking. So if you know where you're going ahead of time... Although well, holding it down works pretty well, too. All in all, no, it's not a hard game to control. Which is good, because that's not the point. The interface is just there to help you experience it. And the mountain looks like a bearded dude. <laughs> oh, grr. They loathe rainbows. Oops. Come on. Oh, I'm not far enough over. There we go. Okay. I wasn't sure if I did it for long enough. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think you're meant to take the game very seriously. It's a megatome. A sound plan, if ever there was one. Trespass. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't always zoom out. Like in here, it's tied to this this view. Oh. No, <laughs> we didn't worry too much about it. Which door? I've played the game once, so I know what to do in the later puzzles, but that does not mean that I've memorized it. However, it should never really get stuck. We'll move through this at a good pace, and hope everyone enjoys the game, and yeah, highly suggest getting it. That doesn't look dangerous at all. <laughs> It's never an expensive game. Got it through the um, Humble Bundle myself, actually. Was very much not sure about it. But it turned out to be a good, a good purchase. Come on, take the book. Oh, felt the <laughs> sword. He's back. Just knock the book out of his hands. I don't think he's going to appreciate that. Yay. 
yet, no. <laughs> Run from the giant ghost antler boy. So much for not worrying about him. Oh, no. It was that guy. I thought the statue was going to attack me. Oh, holy crap, he moves fast. Like I have a choice. Ooh. <gasps> Counter attack. Thankfully, there's no limit to how long you can hold your shield or anything. There we go. A little half moon in the background. I'm guessing it. I'm guessing that's about the phase of the moon right now. This game does a couple things based around the moon phases. So, and it looks like I'm right in the middle. <laughs> And so much for the ghost guy following me. It's still kind of dark out here, though. Oh, okay, I was just going to drag to the other exit, but I can't see it. Come on, there we go. It kind of lights up as you go along. And we're back. <laughs> Ominous. being tracked. This is some of the soundtrack that's definitely worth having around. Ooh, lightning! Creepy wolf thing up on the other side of the door. Hey. 
That was a weird sound. <laughs> Why did he carry that whole big basket of wood or sticks or whatever it was all the way up the mountain? <laughs> And yes, any gamer worth their salt will, and will recognize that symbol. I was just amazed that they were able to include that directly into this game. They call it something else at least. Barely. And yeah, they bake this game into sessions, too. I think there's three or four sessions. Whether you want them to stop or not. But, the, the sessions break up pretty well, at least this first one does, for a session of Let's Play. And that is the end of it for now. We'll pick up right there next time. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you all later. Take care.